Hello Power Ranger fans and welcome to another Power Rangers Play School Heroes toy review with me admin Golkin Ranger from the Golkin Ranger team and in this video we'll be reviewing the Power Rangers Play School Heroes Red Ranger and T-Rex Zord and Silver Ranger and Wolf Zord. Awesome! So these are basically Power, Ranger, uh, Power Rangers Play School Heroes Zord sets where you basically get a Zord and a ranger figure. So what we have here is the red ranger from Power Rangers Dino Thunder with his T-Rex sword or Tyrannosaur as it was called in the show and of course we've got the silver ranger or otherwise known as the lunar wolf ranger with his wolf sword both from Power Rangers Wild Force. Awesome! So these are basically Power Ranger toys for eight for kids, eight for Power Ranger fans ages three and up and this is made by Hasbro and I think it's really cool to have a new sort of Power Ranger toy line that's more aimed at the younger fans, sort of much like Bandai's, well it's not really Bandai's, it was like Imagine-X which we only reviewed a couple of things of but hopefully this time we're going to have a load more Play School Heroes to review for you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're first going to start with the packaging and then we're going to take a look at the Zords themselves. Okay, so here is the packaging for both of those Zord vehicles. Unfortunately, I think I've got a bit of instruction still stuck to the bottom of it, so don't worry about that. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the packaging for both of the Zords and so on. Okay, so first of all, we've got a nice illustration of the Play School Heroes Dino Thunder Red Ranger looking awesome. The only funny thing is, is I, his gloves are meant to be red, not white, which I find very funny. If we move on here, we've got Red Ranger and T-Rex Zord ages three and up with Hasbro and then there's the Play School Heroes Power Ranger logo in the corner I love that and we've got the Power Morph which shows you the battle feature that the toy can do which we'll see a little later and if we turn to the side you can see the logo here and the Play School Heroes logo on the other side and then if we look on the back you've got the Go Go Power Rangers love that and then it says here that it's got a magnet inside it, hence how it activates the the battle feature, which is the drill, which we'll see a little later. PlayschoolHeroes.com and the Power Ranger logo, and that's that looks really cool. Okay, now let's have a look at the Silver Ranger one. So pretty much the same, except the only thing that's different is a different picture on the top of a Power Morph. So you sit the Lunar Wolf Ranger or Silver Ranger in the back of the Wolf Sword and his Blaster Cannon will come out. We've got the Lunar Wolf Ranger here, or the Silver Ranger, looking fantastic. Move along, we've got Silver Ranger and Wolf Sword, ages 3 and up, and Hasbro. And then we play School Heroes logo this side, and the Power Ranger logo on this side. And then if we turn to the back, you've got Go Go Power Rangers, and then there's the Lunar Wolf Ranger or Silver Ranger with the Wolf Sword showing off the battle feature, which looks fantastic. And it says here if you push the tail at the back, its mouth will open and shut, and the head will move forward as, as it opens and, mouth, and opens and shuts its mouth. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at the toys themselves. Okay, so now we've taken a look at the packaging, we can now take a look at the toys themselves. So first, let's have a look at the figures. So, just going to move these aside for a bit. So, as you can see straight away, we've got the Red Ranger from Dino Thunder. Now, he's missing a bit of eye paintwork on here, which unfortunately can't be, well, can't be, nothing can be done about that. And there's missing white paint along the ridge of the visor, but that's okay. Nice gold. And it's got his wrist morpher thing, and I do like that. That it's a little power ranger bolt, and it's like a power morpher for my morphin, and it's like turned into a wrist morpher, which is really cool. I love that. And then we got the um, buckle and the Dino Thunder symbol and gold along here. Some white down the side here and here. There's no white down the sides here, unfortunately, but that can't. But oh well. On the back. Which is pretty basic. There's some holes under here. Now there's a reason for that, which we'll sh I'll show you in a bit. As for articulation, his head can turn 360 degrees. His arms have some joints here and here, so you can move it up and down or turn 360 degrees, which is very nice. You can push the legs forward and down like so, so he can sit down 
another picnic. <laughs> Not really. There's a reason for all them to be able to sit down, which I'll show you in a moment. But let's move on to Silver Ranger. Now Silver Ranger, or Lunar Wolf Ranger, um, he's got his Wild Force Wolf symbol here and the wolf symbol on his buckle. He's got that gold morpher as well. All the rangers pretty much have that morph on their wrist, which is really cool. Some like, sort of like a icy metallic blue, and I don't think that's really cool. And there's red for the eyes, and black for the visor, and that looks really cool, and some gold as well on the back and at the front. His articulation's pretty much the same, so turn, if you'll let me. Oh, it's a bit stiff, because I haven't really played play with this figure much so 360 degrees on the head and you can turn 360 degrees on the arm move this up and down and then you can bend the legs and sit him down so he can have a picnic <laughs> okay right so let's have a now let's take a look at the zord so i'm going to move these over here so we can focus on the zord so the zords so we've got the tyranno zord from power rangers Dino thunder as you can see nice red and gold down here and some silver along the tail and there's a little section here for something, but what is that for? We'll get to that. Silver and gold on the legs and on the claws, looking very cool. That looks really cool. Very hollow feet. Oop. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Let's put that down there. Let's have a look at the wolf sword. So as you can see with wolf sword, it's silver. It's like, it's like an interesting fading effect. It's like silver at the top and then it fades into this sort of blue colour and I think that's really cool and I think that is really awesome and there's hollow feet as well and he's got a hole at the back as well okay so what can these figures do with what can these zords do with these figures well watch what happens if we take the red ranger prepare him like this with his morpher out ready and I'm going to move the silver ranger over there for a minute because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the figure on here and look at this look at that a battle feature is activated and only the rangers can sit in the zords and activate the battle feature and it's so cool and as you can see it's a tyranno drill and how to get the drill to work well Press here and watch what happens. Push down on the tail and the drill will spin. Dino drill, engage! Awesome, I love that. Now, what can the what can the Silver Ranger and the Wolf Saw do? Can they do the same? Well, they can't do the spinning drill, but they can do this. A missile launcher and also if you push the tail at the back the head will extend forward and he will roar oh. <laughs> okay wolf thought that's enough <laughs> and what can you do well if you press this button at the top you got a missile so basically you've got to push this red button here I'll show you once more so you can see it properly so put that there and what we do is we aim, we've got the missile, and fire! Awesome! So you've got some missile firing action, which is absolutely awesome. And obviously while the ranger figure is sitting inside, inside the Zord, you can't push it back down or close the mouth because it will stay open. So if we just take them out, you can shut them. Basically, if you want to open it like this, you just push this little contraption here, push it forward, and then that will come up. This, um, on the other hand, I don't see any feature where it will just come up on its own. Um, oh, yes, there is. I've just spotted it. It's right there. The little red lever, push that up, and the, the laser blaster will come out. Awesome. So let's just sit them back in their swords. So these are really, really good swords and I really love how that, um, how Hasbro have done these swords and I think it's really great to give um, younger Power Ranger fans a selection of swords that they can collect. Okay and yes that's it for this review so thank you so much Ranger fans for watching. Uh, please remember as always to like the video, share the video, comment below 
And your question of the day is, do you guys have a favourite Dino Thunder Red Ranger moment or a Merrick Luna Wolf Ranger moment from the Power Ranger history? Mm. Or is, if you could, choose a Zord with a Ranger to be released with the Power Ranger Play School Heroes line, what Zord and figure would you like to see come out in the future? So there's another one for you guys. Okay, and remember to go, go subscribe because we've got many more awesome reviews like this coming up very soon in the near future. So thank you guys for watching, as always. And thank you, you know, for... Well, thank you Smith's Toy Superstores for supplying these toys for us. It's fantastic. And yes, as I said, you can find these toys at Smith's Toy Superstore or the Entertainer. And if you need any more help, just contact us and we can help you find these online as well. And as always, thank you for watching. May the power protect you. Have a more phenomenal day. And we will see you all next time. Bye-bye, Ranger fans.